My name's Tom Moran, and I'm the head custodian at O'Neill Middle School. It's in Downers Grove. Usually I get here a little before 7. If it snows, 5, 6 o'clock. I open up the doors, turn the lights on, and basically make the rounds. Turn exhaust fans on. Make sure the boilers are running, especially in the wintertime. Job is basically taking care of the building and taking care of the people within it, making sure they have a good, clean, safe environment so that kids can learn and the teachers can teach. The Waking by Theodore Rathke. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. I feel my fate and what I cannot fear. I learn by going where I have to go. We think by feeling. What is there to know? I hear my being dance from ear to ear. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. Of those so close beside me, which are you? God bless the ground. I shall walk softly there and learn by going where I have to go. Light takes the tree, but who can tell us how? The lowly worm climbs up a winding stair. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. Great nature has another thing to do to you and me. So take the lively air and lovely, learn by going where to go. This shaking keeps me steady. I should know. What falls away is always and is near. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. I learn by going where I have to go. It's a very positive poem. It's very life affirming. I always like the lyrical aspects of it and the way the words just fit together and it just flows so easily and so melodically and it has such a powerful resonance. It just, it stuck with me ever since I read it when I was a, in high school, I believe. And it's just basically, just get up and get doing. You go through some hard times, you go through some sad times, you know, it's struggling, but there's this kind of almost a reward that you get out of this poem by saying, yeah, it's hard, but you learn where you're going to go by going. I guess the biggest thing was uh, when I had to drop out of uh, college. I uh, just ran out of money and, you know, it was like, go get a job. I, I got to hustle a buck, I got to pay the rent, that type of thing. And it's just a matter of like, tomorrow, you know, things are going to get better. I mean, you always have to believe in tomorrow's going to be better. I start setting up for lunch about 10, 15, 10, 30. We have four lunches here with 465 kids. So it's pretty much go, go, go. You really have to manage your time well here uh, because there's only so much time to do so much and you dedicate that to do that. But then when something else happens, you have to be very thorough to get that done because you've got to get back on schedule. They're coming whether or not you're ready or not. Ready or not, here they come. Uh, every 20 minutes they switch periods and they come out. And the kids come in. Jeez, please. Yeah, I was out of work for a while and things like that, but you'll notice like when you have different times in your life, different aspects, you can always go back to poetry. And it's almost like a mile marker on the road. When you're out of work, you don't know how the bills are gonna get paid, you know, it's how we got through last week, I don't know how we're gonna get through this week, I don't know, but I learned by going where I have to go. I've been doing about a year and a half I've been in the district. This is going on my sixth year, so this is the fourth building I've been at. Started as a night custodian part-time, worked my way up, and now I got my own building. All right, today's Friday, so Shane, take down the flag tonight. Um, uh, lock all the doors, the locker rooms, the lounge, everything. Um, 
lock the small gym and make sure the breezeway is locked so nobody walks through the large gym and into the breezeway. It's a good place to work. People are really good. You know, it's a great environment, especially for poetry. The background is they're really pushing the kids for reading, you know, how important reading is. I did a couple of poetry workshops for kids over at the first school I was at, and their imagination is just tremendous. And I'm like, this is something you kids can do yourself. You have the power of creation within you. They got so much energy and everything. It's like, man, there's this exuberance of life, you know? And it's just like, they just, they just don't know about, you know, you know, mortgage and bills and everything like that. It kind of rubs off on you as far as like, yeah, you know, just get moving, get doing, you know? You should read a poem, like, feel like you're getting lifted off the ground. It's like a wind blowing through your soul. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. I feel my fate and what I cannot fear. I learn by going where I have to go. We think by feeling. What is there to know? I hear my being dance from ear to ear. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. Of those so close beside me, which are you? God bless the ground. I shall walk softly there and learn by going where I have to go. Light takes the tree, but who can tell us how? The lowly worm climbs up a winding stair. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. Great nature has another thing to do to you and me. So take the lively air and lovely, learn by going where to go. This shaking keeps me steady, I should know. What falls away is always and is near. I wake to sleep and take my waking slow. I learn by going where I have to go.